God, God tells Adam, you have a choice to eat. You can eat all these trees over here, trees of life everywhere, but you can't eat this one tree. You know what I'm saying? You can't just eat this one tree. You got all these trees out here, but you can't touch this one tree. And that's the ideal of what was God has created for Adam to position himself in, uh, uh, to, to he's, he, he needs to understand he's positioned for permission to make your own decisions. You know what I'm saying? We, you know, Adam was put in that position. Let's get it right first. Position, you know what I'm saying? To have permission that us human beings are not understanding, unfortunately, because the thing is, you know, as unfortunate, well, I'm going too fast on my teaching, but uh, let me present this idea. Now watch this. This I like this, y'all. Y'all better like this. This is awesome. God showed me. Now notice if you take the P-E-R, you get mission. Yes, you get a mission. Now watch this. A mission is a task that you're trying to do or is something that is given to you. A mission is a task that you're trying to do or it's given to you. You know what I'm saying? And what, you know, what that's what a mission is. Now, what you don't realize concerning your permission that you have, that you have more likely the uh, right, they call it a right, or the freedom to do whatever you want to do. You have the right and you have the freedom to do whatever you want to is given to every creature, not just a human being, but an animal. But you have a right to do what you want to do. And that's important to understand this. You know what I'm saying? That you have a right to do what you want to do. Now, the ideal of a permission is that. That's what the ideal of the permission. You have the right to do what you want to do. But watch what permission becomes a mission. That's what we need to understand that. You know, permission, now we have the right to do what we want to do. We want to do this. But whatever we want to do this will become our mission of life. Or more likely, it becomes the task that we're trying to do in certain things that's going to be given to do, given, given for us to do, pretty much. It's, it's something that we're going to try to do. For instance, we have the permit. You know, for instance, let me see uh, where I'm at, where I'm at. Uh, uh, watch this. We have the permission to do what's right or wrong. And and now we have permission to do what's right or wrong. And watch this. And whatever we choose, we're going to be motivated to do that mission. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be motivated to do what we see is right or wrong. We're, we will have a motivation on a mission. Like we on a mission, you know, each and every day, uh, 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 children are on a mission to go to school. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a mission. A task is, uh, well, this task is given to us, see? And the thing is, and there's the idea of adults going to work. That is a task that is given to you. You know what I'm saying? In order for, of course, going to school, your task is to go to school to get educated, to do something, to become something. Job is the getting the job, the task, the mission to do something is what I want you to get that idea. Um... So watch this. We have the permission to to make the choice to do whatever we want to do. We don't have to do that or we can do that. 
That's what I really want to get. Um, is what the idea that we have to um question our position. See, see, because our yeah, there you go. Uh, sorry, uh, our permission will give us a mission to put us in a position. <laughs> I know. It's, I don't know. Yeah, it, it, it's our permission is going to put us in a, 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 a mission that's going to put us in a position, whether it's going up, up or down, or going good or bad. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, we think, you know, that it's so much about our, you know, surroundings. Our surroundings play a role. Our surroundings play a great role. You know what I'm saying? Concerning how we're going, we have the permission to do whatever we want to do, but we have, oh yeah, we have the permission to hear, we have the permission to see things, and we have the permission to make a judgment on what we think is right and what we think is wrong. And we have that permission, not, well, we as the individual has that permission to, uh, 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 consider things to see things are right or wrong. Now, now, guess what? We must realize what we think is right. We will be on a mission to accomplish this, even if it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? As what Isaiah said, uh, five and twenty, he talks about that. You know, woe unto them that call good evil and evil good called light darkness and darkness light uh uh he's he the ideal of that but whatever we have a permission to uh see something and think that is right we're going to get on a mission to accomplish it you know what i'm saying that's what really and i want to show you like we can either love one another, or we can hate one another. We can either, and now watch this. If I love somebody, what is supposed to be the procedure that supposed to bring forth? It's supposed to be a procedure to more likely help that person. You know what I'm saying? To help a person out concerning a situation that's going on. That will proceed. That will become my mission. That will become my mission to help that person. You know what I'm saying? Now watch this. The you love to help and you love this person, so you help this person. Now watch this. What the position that I want to be in as an individual, and I want this other person to be in in a position. I want this I, we want to be in a good position. See, we want to be in a good position. When I love you, I help you. And I help you that you become in a good position. See what I'm saying? And I feel good that you're in a good position. Now watch this. Now the opposite is hate. I can hate you. You know what I'm saying? I can hate you. Now watch this. My Now my hate, my mission is to hurt you. My, minute, my mission is now to hurt you and hurt you and make sure that you are in a bad position. You know what I'm saying? That's my the mission of hate. When you hate, got hate in your heart, your mission is to hurt people to get them in a bad position. Now, uh, what we must understand as Christians, you know what I'm saying, that our mission, if we truly, when we we when we got saved, guess what our mission is supposed to do? Get other people saved. You know what I'm saying? Get other people saved and get other people uh on a mission to become sanctified and on a mission to be Holy Ghost filled and on a mission is to be Genesis 126 made in the image in the likeness of God through Jesus Christ, of course, through Jesus Christ. But in this ideal sequence of the world, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sin, uh, that when you do something bad, you, you sin to people but what happens with the uh, the situation is people be when you sin you become a sinner, and when you become a sinner, you will encourage others to become a sinner. You know what I'm saying? When you sin, you be encouraging other people to sin. That 
this ideal system works. You know what I'm saying? That we need to understand the permission that's going to get people on a mission to get people on a position. And watch this. And it goes, and when you in that position, you will make a judgment in your viewpoint that you can either make a judgment that people love me, you know what I'm saying? Or people hate me. Like, you know, you hear people say, everybody hates me. Everybody hates me. Every, they, they don't say, they, well, they don't say, well, this person hated me. That person hated me. That person hated me. That person hated me. They're not going to speak in details of it. They're going to just say, because this person hate me, because that person hate me, because that person hate me, because that person, everybody hate me. You know what I'm saying? You know how people make those kind of judgments and assumptions and assumptions um, about everybody hating them because so many people mistreated you. You know what I'm saying? Now you want to say, oh, everybody hate me. And now you're going to try to get on a mission to think that, well, if everybody hate me, I'm going to uh, mis mistreat this person, mistreat that person, even if I don't even know this person. Yeah. I don't even know this person, but this person, well, that person looked like that person, that person looked like that person, then I'm going to mistreat that person because they look like the other person that mistreated me. You know what I'm saying? You, you put yourself in a position to make bad judgment. You know what I'm saying? And how you see people. And the thing is, but we're supposed to be uh, in Christ, we're supposed to make a good judgment in how we see people. That I love about uh, how Jesus talked to the woman in the well. Jesus could have uh, said, you know, uh, what you do all that um, uh, adultery, you know what I'm saying? You sleeping with all those five people, girl, get away from me. I, I, I'm a holy person. I don't got, shouldn't have nothing to do with you. No, he didn't do that. He understand the, per, that uh, per, that person had a permission that made bad decisions and got on a mission to unfortunately sleep with, you know, five uh, men and and he she was put in that position. Jesus understand that. And Jesus like, I got the solution for you. I have the solution. The this water can give you uh, cleanse you and give you and make you give you a water that you'll never thirst no more. You know what I'm saying? It's the I got the solution for whatever permit position you're in. And the thing is, that's what agenda of, of Christians are supposed to be all about. You know what I'm saying? If we're truly all about helping people make better, and when they be in a good position, they find themselves making good decisions. We, I mean, when we help people and put them in a good position, they can see that they can make better decisions. Pretty much doing that. But watch this. Uh, Deuteronomy uh, 30 and 19 says, I call heaven and earth to bear record I mean, to record, to record, to record this day against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursings. Therefore, choose life that both thou and thy seed, thy future may live. The thing is, we must understand that we, now I like, uh, he says, record this day against you. More likely, I am presenting your permission to the people. He's talking to the children of Israel that I'm presenting your permission. You can choose life. You can choose death. You can choose blessings concerning the decisions you make. You can choose curses. But, you know, he says, choose life. And not just choose life for you, but for your future and their future and their future is what God has put out in Deuteronomy 30, 19 to make people understand their, that, that permission of, of, of making their own decisions is given to them to, to make awareness of, it, you know what I'm saying, of the situation. So not so much that you're confused about, oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to handle. No, you're not really confused. You need to understand about you have permission to make your own decisions about how you go to your direction of life is what this is all about. All right. That's the message. Hope you got it. Hope it made sense to you. To God be the glory. Him 
forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.